This video will help you better understand what is Xiaomi's anti-rollback protection and how to check for it on any specific Xiaomi device before upgrading or downgrading to any MIUI ROM. So I have explained everything in detail and watch the video till to the end without missing any part of the video. Before starting this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So let's get started. Did you remember that day when Redmi Note 5 Pro users got break their device after downgrading from developer ROM to a MIUI stable ROM? So what's the reason behind that? Well, that's because of anti-rollback protection. Okay, let's get into the main part. What is it? The anti-rollback protection is a feature that Google has introduced with Android 8.0 Oreo and made it mandatory for all of the Android devices to be shipped with Android Pie, enables the user not able to downgrade to the older versions of Android. Google's anti-rollback protection is a feature of Android's verified boot 2.0 and it prevents the device from booting if it detects the device that has been downgraded to an older or an unapproved software build. The anti rollback protection is necessary to prevent attackers from loading older software on a device that's susceptible to be an exploit. The biggest difference between the Google's and Xiaomi's implementation is that a Google's anti rollback protection can be disabled if you unlock the bootloader while Xiaomi's cannot be disabled. Once once you install a MIUI build with an anti-rollback protection enabled on a Xiaomi device, there's no going back. For instance, anti-rollback protection is enabled for the Xiaomi's Mi 8 and the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 5 Pro starting in MIUI 10 China and MIUI 10 a global beta respectively. Now let me explain in a neat way. For example, if your device has shipped with Android Pie and after some time you will update to the Android Q, uh, which you may not liking it and etc point you decided to downgrade back to Android Pie. It is possible you can do it but if the device has anti-rollback protection enabled then there is no going back. Now using the same concept let me go deeper into the Xiaomi's implementation. So let's say you're on a MIUI 10 a stable ROM and at some point you decided to install a MIUI 10 a developer ROM. Once you install a developer ROM with anti-rollback protection enabled you may not be able to downgrade back to a MIUI 10 stable ROM using a fast boot method but with the help of the TWRP you can and it may not perform any checks and it may flush the build and you may end up breaking your device which can only be recoverable with the help of EDL mode so if a device with an anti-rollback protection enabled has a rollback index number, for example, if you have installed some MIUI version, let's say 9.3.27 with a rollback index number three, and then you are planning to upgrade to the latest MIUI, then it will increment the current anti-rollback index number. So how to check for anti-rollback index number? This is very important to know, especially if you're planning to upgrade uh, or downgrade any MIUI ROM on your specific Xiaomi device with anti-rollback protection enabled. Now first boot your device into a fast boot mode. For this instance, I'm having a Pocophone F1 or POCO F1. So what I'm going to do is I simply turn off the phone. Once it's completely powered off, now hold power and volume down button for a few seconds until you see a fast boot logo. Now connect your phone to your PC or laptop and make sure that you have installed all of the platform tools, which includes both ADB and fast boot commands. Now type this command called a fast boot get war anti, then press the return key. Now it will show you the a current rollback index number Number of the current ROM. Now note this number for a moment. Now go ahead and download any fast boot ROM for your specific uh, Xiaomi device that you want to upgrade or downgrade to the latest MIUI. Most of the fast boot ROMs has a file extension with a .tzz or .zz. Just go ahead and extract it using a 7-zip or any other extractor and find a file inside that extracted folder called a flash underscore all dot bat. So once you find it, just go ahead and open this file using a notepad plus plus and look for this line called a set current underscore anti underscore war and make sure that you need to note this value now remember these key points and match your thing okay so anyway so if the current rollback index is less than the rollback index in the images to be flashed then the images will be flashed and the current rollback index will be incremented to match the new rollback index 
if the current rollback index is equals to a rollback index in the images to be flashed then the images will be flashed also and the rollback index won't change and the last line according to the xda if the current rollback index is greater than the rollback index in the images to be flashed then the images will be rejected if you're flashing via fast boot or me flash but twrp does not check the rollback indices before flashing which is why nearly all of the devices breaks were the result of downgrading via twrp so and these are the current list of the xiaomi smartphones which supports anti-rollback protection fortunately our pocophone f1 is not in this list so no worries for now again who knows a xiaomi may or may not surprise us in a future with anti-rollback protection enabled anyway guys always remember if you're downgrading to any other miui rom always perform these checks and that's it guys that's pretty much about it and if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified so thanks for watching this is your host case Carol signing off